We all want our gardens to be beautiful and enjoyable, but did you know they can be beneficial too? When you garden in a wildlife friendly way, your outdoor space, no matter the size, style or budget, will be beneficial to both you and wildlife. Gardening with wildlife in mind is a powerful way to support animals that pollinate our fruits and veggies, keep potential pest species like mice and mosquitoes in check, and strengthen plants by returning nutrients to the soil. In the process, you also help the surrounding ecosystems ensuring healthy soil, clean air, and clean water for drinking and swimming. And that's just for starters. It only takes a few simple steps to create a healthy habitat for wildlife. In fact, you may be surprised by how much you're already doing. First, there's food. Planting nectar and pollen-rich flowers attracts pollinators like butterflies, bees, and flies, like the hover or flower fly. The blooms then form fruit, nuts, and seeds that support a wide variety of birds and mammals. Other plant parts are important too, like milkweed leaves that are crucial for monarch butterfly caterpillars. Together, these plants attract small animals that are food for toads, songbirds, bats, and snakes. Even hummingbirds who need our flowers for nutrients also need spiders and insects for protein. You can help some butterflies get nourishment with open areas of sand, compost, or manure where they mud puddle, drinking the mineral-rich liquid when the ground is wet. When choosing plants, try to include the regionally native species that local wildlife may depend on. Have blooms from early spring to late fall and with various shapes to suit our different pollinators. Feel free to supplement with bird feeders, but keep in mind our wing friends still need natural habitat to survive. Water is another key element that wildlife needs, in this case for drinking and bathing. You can do this by taking a simple kitchen dish or a bought bird bath. Make sure the dish is shallow and easy to clean to prevent the buildup of bacteria as well as changing the water often, especially when the weather's hot. Water can provide aquatic species with food and shelter, as with frogs and dragonflies. A pond with sloped sides and a shallow area will do the trick and also entice birds and other animals to drink or bathe. Animals also need a place to nest, rest, escape predators, and avoid snow, rain, and excessive heat. You can provide the third element, shelter, by growing a diversity of plant types like vines, perennials, shrubs, and trees. If you have a larger property, consider leaving snags, dead or dying trees, if they are safely away from human activity. Remove any branches or the top for extra safety. These trees are critical year-round for cavity nesters, birds that live within them, such as woodpeckers, chickadees, nuthatches, even some owls and ducks. Other forms of shelter come from brush or rock piles, leaf litter and logs. Green gardening methods help you maintain your outdoor space in beneficial ways. Don't worry though, there are many ways to deal with and prevent unwanted visitors. In fact, by growing a diversity of plant life, you're automatically attracting garden allies, such as bats, birds, beneficial insects, snakes, and toads, which will help deal with potential pest species. Other beneficial gardening practices include composting, which makes a free, nourishing soil amendment, and mulching, which keeps weeds down and helps balance soil temperature and moisture.